How's it going everyone? I'm back again. I've got an exciting couple of days planned. I'm making my way up north to the Boundary Waters area of Minnesota. I'm meeting a friend of mine up there. We're going to spend a couple of days kayak fishing and camping. So it should be a lot of fun. I can't wait to get up there. We've got a couple hour drive still ahead of me, so I'm going to keep on driving and I will see you guys at the lake. All right, I made it up here. Friend Ben is up here too for the next couple of days. We got our kayaks all loaded up with fishing and camping gear. What do you say, should we get out there and slay them? Let's do it. This lake is beautiful, this water is crystal clear. Got both smallmouth and largemouth in this lake, right? Yep. Potentially walleyes too mixed in if we're lucky. It's nice and rocky looking. Little smolly. Put the brakes on so I don't go drifting in there anymore. Not much for size on the smallmouth yet, but I got a feeling we'll find some decent ones eventually. Just got to keep weeding through these ones. one. That one's definitely a nicer one. This one's sitting on a bed right there. I figured they would have been done with the spawn by now. Well, I'm going to throw my jig over there. Yeah, he definitely picked that thing up, didn't he? Gotcha. Uh-oh, he's got me wrapped up in a stick over here. There we go, got him free. Well, there's a decent smallie. Oh, of course it's got to splash the heck out of me. I'll get my camera wiped off at least. That's interesting. This one was sitting on a bed up there. I'm gonna get him unhooked here as quick as I can. Nice smallmouth. Let him get back to his nest. I am really surprised. Today is, is it June 20th. I figured they'd be done spawning by now. 
pretty sure that's that same fish that took a swipe at my plopper when I threw it over here too, probably protecting its nest. that one hit it I got the fish I don't know if I got the strike on camera though that's a largey that is a nice large one what are you doing hanging out up here on the rocks grab him quick so he doesn't get that hook in my hand nice large mouth on the plopper Just hanging out up here amongst all these boulders. I thought for sure that one was going to be a smallmouth. It's kind of daydreaming there as he swiped at it. Hopefully I got that strike on camera. That's a quality largemouth. made it to our portage spot. As you can see, they've got a nice little roller system to make it easy for us. somebody. Here we are at the second lake. There's two campsites out here. We're hoping one of them's empty or else we might have to find a rock to set the tents up on. Plan B. Either way, I got like zero sleep last night so I could probably just like <laughs> fall asleep in my kayak and be fine. <laughs> Found a campsite and nobody's here. Let's hop out and take a look. I might get out and set up the tents and whatnot. Wait for the wind to die down a little bit. It's nice and calm over here, but out in the open it's a little bit choppy out there right now. Let's go up here and have a look. This is awesome. There's a couple different trails I go through here. Let's follow Ben. We've been seeing a lot of boats out here today. I'm surprised nobody's here. Yep, this is going to be home for the next day or two. That 
absolutely beautiful. I think we're gonna get the tents set up, get some of our gear unloaded, lighten our kayaks up a little bit, maybe let that wind die down. Then we'll head out for some evening fishing. Look at that. There are crawdads all over these rocks. I've been throwing that black and blue jig today when I haven't been throwing the top water. I might have to switch that over to a more natural color because these little guys are everywhere. Off you go. We've got our tents set up. I can't wait to wake up in the morning and step out of my tent and watch the sunrise over these islands. Well, what do you think? Should we go try to catch a few more? Absolutely. Read my mind. All right, I switched over my jig color. I'd say that's a pretty close match right there. So we'll go toss that around, maybe the plopper or a spook, and see if we can catch a few more bass to finish off the night. Seems like it's died down pretty good already. Oh, nice. That's a good right fish right there. Right, <laughs> right underneath the log. Come here. That looks like a good fish, too. That's the biggest one I've caught all day. About 50 feet from camp. Yeah, I think he was hanging out right underneath this log here. I threw my plopper over there and he crushed it. Beautiful smallmouth. Heck, we might not even need that jig. If they're hitting top water. I'm gonna keep on throwing that plopper. I have been throwing that jig a little bit. I haven't really had any action on that. Throwing that top water. One thing I do really like about that whopper plopper is that it just works so well for covering water. There is a lot of water to cover out here. that one out there to get the slop off of my spool. Is that a bass? Yes it is. Yeah, it's a smallie. Pretty small guy. Come here.
Decent little smallie. Along the rocks. Got him. Oh, you stay on. Oh, that was awesome. As soon as that plopper hit the water, I saw a little disturbance right up along the shoreline there. This guy was sitting right up along those rocks. Come here. Jeez, look at that. Beautiful smallmouth. This one might be the last one of the day. Looks like that sun is just about to set. Might give it another 10, 15 minutes, and then I think it's gonna be time to head back to camp. There you go, what a beautiful fish. What a perfect night. Well, I made it back to camp. What an awesome day of fishing it's been. Whew, I am beat, it's been a long day. Ben's got some hamburger helper cooking up. Some food is sounding pretty good right now. Then I think I'm gonna be about ready to crawl in my sleeping bag. helper for dinner. That is pretty darn good after a long day on the water. I'm just getting ready for bed. I wanted to show you guys all these crayfish. There are crawfish everywhere down on these rocks. Plenty of food for the smallies in this lake. Well, it's been a long day. I'm gonna crawl in my tent and get some sleep. I just gotta get these last couple of mosquitoes that got into my tent before I crawl into my sleeping bag and fix my camping pillow. I got my little Plano tackle box. I'm just going to stick that right inside my pillow to give it a little bit more substance. Otherwise it's too flat. I wake up with a sore neck. Plus, I sleep better at night knowing that my lures are safe. Well, it's time for me to crawl in my sleeping bag and get some sleep. It's been a long day. Had a lot of fun today. Got a lot of nice fish and it's been awesome out here on this beautiful lake. We've got another long day of fishing ahead of us tomorrow, so it's time for me to get to bed. I'm tired. See you guys in the morning.